what are the best uh, outcomes of this uh, event, generally from a global perspective and then more specifically from a Georgia perspective? Well, from a global perspective, each year, as we said, that this, this convention is the largest biotech convention in the world. So each year it gives companies an opportunity to find out what the rest of the world is doing. Now, they're probably um, um, very versed in what other companies are doing around the world because that's part of their business. But each year, uh, when, the, when the industry gets together, they get together and companies can see advances that are being made in other parts of the world that they may not have known about. But maybe even more important, it's an opportunity to discuss trends and issues. There are several elements to this convention, and maybe we better just uh, go over that for a second in terms of what the convention overall looks like. And then I'll get back to your uh, question. There is the exhibit hall, which we all also uh, already talked about. But then there are 170 program sessions arranged in 22 subject tracks where a thousand speakers, the leaders of the biotech revolution, if you will, will be discussing all kinds of subjects that affect biotech business and science and regulatory policy. So this is an opportunity for everybody to kind of do a, a check on how things are going uh, in the different elements that, uh, uh, that different elements of uh, business, science, and public policy that affect the industry. Then there's also um, the business forum, which we talked about. And there are also super sessions, which are larger sessions, which focus on um, hot topics, if you will, and uh, feature uh, world-class speakers uh, as well. And then there are keynote speeches. And this year at the convention, there are two keynote uh, speeches two keynote lunches where the speeches are just the first class. And I've been going to the bio convention for many years, and this is just the, these are some of the best speakers, uh, best programs that I've seen. And that is on Tuesday, Sir Elton John is going to be talking about uh, AIDS um, research and his AIDS foundation. And then on Wednesday, um, Tom Daschle, Howard Dean, Bill Frist, and Carl Rove are going to be talking about health care reform. So this is going to be a preview, uh, if you will, of the congressional debate over health care reform under the Obama administration. It should be very interesting. So there are a number of different elements to this convention. And, uh, and, and, and I think that they, they demonstrate why this is such an important convention each year and why it's one that people just cannot miss. So back to your question about uh, the global connections, I think as, uh, if, you, if you take a look at the overall convention and all the different aspects of it, you can see that it's an opportunity for companies, um, senior business executives, scientists and companies and universities and investors to find out what the rest of the world is doing each year. As far as Georgia is concerned, this is going to be a unique, maybe once in a lifetime opportunity for Georgia companies, uh, universities, and the state economic development professionals to make connections with companies that they would never be able to make connections with because the rest of the world is here and it's all focused on biotech business and science. This is not, um, at least I do not think, this is not your typical uh, scientific convention or your typical business convention. What you have here are you have the top decision makers from the world's biotech companies coming here. So it's an opportunity to make these business connections uh, that could uh, change the direction of a company, that could uh, make the difference in the company's success or failure. But also for this state, it's an opportunity to really do some economic development uh, activity and make connections that could then lead to companies um, thinking of Georgia at at, at a minimum, thinking of Georgia when they're trying to figure out where they're going to expand or if it's an international company, how they want to enter the U.S. market. And, um, I, and also, I think they'll be, they will, uh, and more important, they will uh, uh, perhaps locate in Georgia where they wouldn't have uh, in the past because they weren't aware of all the opportunity here in Georgia. In looking at the different sectors, for instance, fuels, as well as healthcare and the others. Where do you think uh, Georgia is going to benefit the most from these new partnerships? 
as I was saying before, Georgia has all the applications of biotechnology, so I think they can, ap they can absolutely benefit in all these areas. There is a, the, the, the biofuels area here in Georgia, as you, as, as you probably know, is focused on cellulosic ethanol. So that's a, a counterpoint, if you will, or a, 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 a problem solver for those who feel that food crops should not be used to create ethanol, because cellulosic ethanol involves using uh, trees, for instance, or cellulose, and this is uh, the waste products of the plants, so uh, of the food crops. And Georgia, of course, has a, a, an enormous uh, forestry industry, um, and so it could be a center for cellulosic ethanol. And I know that the state is, is moving aggressively in, in that area. But you know, agriculture in Georgia is still the number one industry sector in, in the state, and uh, uh, biotechnology is critical to the progress of agriculture. So it certainly can benefit from from all the agribusiness companies that will be, be here. And some of those agribusiness companies already have a presence here. For instance, uh, um, uh, Marielle is the largest animal health care products company in the world, and it's here in Georgia, headquartered here in Georgia. Uh, and then uh, Ilanco, which is an Eli Lilly subsidiary, has a, a bovine growth hormone plant in Augusta. So the ag biotech industry is well represented here. And then in healthcare, of course, the vast majority of biotechnology applications in Georgia, as in the rest of the nation, are focused on healthcare. And Georgia's, uh, uh, has the, Georgia is home to major pharmaceutical companies, such as Solvay Pharmaceuticals, UCB, uh, Naramco, Johnson & Johnson, a Johnson & Johnson subsidiary, Immucor, Cibavision, a Novartis subsidiary. Um, so there are major companies here, and then there's our, you know, there's an emerging industry. So uh, all these companies will benefit from this convention being here. I mean, it's an opportunity for all of them to make connections. So really, I think it's across the board. This is, as, as I said, is a, is a unique opportunity for Georgia, its companies, and its state economic developers. Is Georgia's um, educational systems uh, getting ready for the growth in all these different areas. Georgia Bio, in association with uh, the Governor's Office of Workforce Development, the State Department of Education, the State Department of Economic Development, the, technolo technology si the technical college system of Georgia, the university system of Georgia, and local school districts, have been working on integrating biotech education into the K through 12 schools and then creating a life sciences career pathway that can take students from high school to technical colleges to the university system. And they can, if you will, they're learning biotech skills along the way, they're getting biotech knowledge uh, that will help them work in the biotech industry. So they can get off that life sciences career pathway after high school, after technical college, and then certainly uh, after they graduate from the universities and get jobs in the life sciences industry. So what we're working toward is making sure that the existing industry has a skilled life sciences workforce, but also so that Georgia has a life sciences workforce for the future that will help attract companies to Georgia. So all that is ongoing right now, and uh, it's very exciting actually. The first biotech courses will be taught in high school in the fall of 2009. There are already biotech tasks, which would be lesson plans and experiments that are being integrated into the middle schools. So it's, uh, it, I, I, I think it's really to Georgia's credit to the, the State Department of Education, to the local school districts, and to all the educators that they are moving in this direction to make sure that the students of Georgia have an opportunity to take advantage of what are high-paying, rewarding careers in the life sciences industry.